Keep it simple phone tech here and this is going to be a brief update video as far as how to back up to iCloud storage and this is if you have iOS version 10.3 and above. Okay so if you have anything less than iOS 10.3 I'm going to leave a link in the description below uh, with my video that talks about how to back up to iCloud storage on previous versions of iOS. The reason we're doing the update for the iOS 10.3 is that the pathways changed a little bit. Nothing's really changed as far as like the things that you can back up. Just want to make sure that the pathway is clear since Apple has made this update here recently on how to get to iCloud storage. With that, let's just go ahead and jump right into how to get there. All right, you'll notice I've got my iPad instead of the iPhone that I used to have and no longer have that iPad is still the same concept. I'll tell you exactly what to look for on your iPhone. So first thing is that you'll want to tap on your settings icon. Find that, tap on it. After that, if you're on the main page of your settings, you're going to see this list here. At the very top of it, you'll have your Apple ID. So you want to tap on that. Once you do tap on that, you're going to get this screen. You're going to get this list of options. You're looking for iCloud, so you want to select that next. After that, you'll see the screen that has all of the on-off switches or options to turn on or turn off. Everything that you want to back up or don't want to back up. So once you've confirmed those selections, locate iCloud Backup and tap on that. If you already have a backup, you'll see here last backup. If it was done uh, today, for example, you'll just see the time that it was done. If it was done on the previous day, you're going to see both the time it was completed as well as the date. If I cloud, excuse me, if I cloud backup is turned on, you'll see backup now. You're going to, and then when you do see that, if it's if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, let's just turn it off for a moment. If you're not connected to Wi-Fi and you do that you will see this grayed out and of course Apple being Apple really good at this you must be connected to a Wi-Fi network to start a backup so make sure you're connected to a strong Wi-Fi connection we'll just let it go ahead and automatically reconnect and then we'll come back here like so you'll see the option in blue to back up now. So go ahead and select back up now. It'll take anywhere from a few minutes to maybe in the upwards of an hour, maybe a little less. Just depends on how much content that you need to back up. And once it's completed, again, you'll see the time in which that backup was completed for you. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Once again, this is backing up to iCloud on iOS 10.3 and above. Again, this is Keep It Simple Phone Tech. Thank you very much for watching.